Now on Monsterfish, Trev discovers an underwater seamount off Panama for Monster Cubera Snapper. Then Dennis travels to the uncharted Vanuatu Islands for the powerful dog tooth tuna. This is one of the ones we came for. This is Monsterfish. Whatever it takes, wherever it takes them, it's a hunt for Monsterfish. Trev Gowdy, America's sportsman, and Dennis Braid, Australia's legend. Two men dedicated to one thing, catching the biggest fish on the planet. Tangle with the Titans. Watch out! Whoa! On Trev Gowdy's Monster Fish. Big water, blue water, monster country. Uh, yeah. Leave shore looking for a fight. You'll get one. Big Cubera. This is where bad beasts live. It's a dangerous place to fish with the currents and rocks. And the monsters will look you right in the eye. About 70 miles off the southwest coast of Panama right now, headed towards Monster Island, better known as Montosa. These monster waters can hold world record Cabrera snapper. My captain, my amigo, Toddy, kind of taking the morning off this morning. Right now, these conditions couldn't be better. And with these conditions today of calm seas, we can get in closer to shore and not have the risk of having this boat thrown up on rocks. This is Monster Fish. Cabrera snapper are the largest snappers in the world, frequently reaching 60 pounds or more. They love to hang out over wrecks, reefs, and rocky ledges miles offshore. That's the famed Montosa Island right behind me. Right now, we're trolling. We've got some jigs out behind us. I'm vertically jigging with my hand. We're out the north end of the island, about 300 feet of water, looking for the Blue Runners and Bonitas, the Cabrera Snapper's favorite bait. I want big bait. To me, big bait is going to give me big fish. I'm a big believer in that. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. The monster fish need monster bait. No bait, no monster. When we get in these inshore, really treacherous, rocky waters, these big cabaras, they can almost pull you overboard. So I'm going to start off. Monster size hook. Heavy, 200 pound plus monofilament. Why? These big Cabrera snapper have several rows of very thick triangular teeth. They can snap this stuff like that. Catching these Cabrera snapper off Monster Island calls for some strategy. Two miles out from the island are 3,000 foot depths or more. 20 foot depths border the island, then the bottom drops to 300 to 500 feet. Our target is off the north end of the island, the peak of an ancient seamount at 150 feet deep. We're here near the full moon phase tide. I want a strong tide, but I'm still gonna attack the seamount from four different angles. These fish will move around as tides slow down and as tides pick up. First, we're gonna stop Put our live bonitas out and see what we can bring off the top of the seamount. Next, we can slow troll each different side and then do north and south. Cabarrus don't always strike hard, but when they feel that hook, they go flying back to the rocky lair, and you'll get a hernia trying to pull them back out. Hard to hold these 
these monsters. That's 400 pound liter, clean. I'm not messing around anymore. I'm going to wire, baby. Some big, big boys down there. One for the monster. Me? Nada. We're gonna even the odds. There we go. Aye. I'm on a voyage to Monster Island off Panama's west coast, where a huge Cabrera snapper chomped my line clean off. Oh! Time to get the wire out. Hey. I bet there's a world record snapper down in this underwater seamount. This might be him, if it's a snapper. Whoa. Shark. Shark. Wow. Okay, after all that fighting, break offs, we now got a big shark on. He's powerful. We gotta cut him off. Well, you never know what you get in these seamounts, but that was a battle of all. It's a big shark. Big guys may have wanted to bitten us off before, but still on our hunt for monster fish. Time for more strategy. Taddy and I want to make the most of this time. So it always pays as you're fishing throughout one tide cycle, right now we're on the incoming, to work all four different angles of the seamount. So right now I've moved to my second angle, and I'm working this, and I might, oh, this might be a bite. You got to wait through the medium size to get the big ones. Now, as I bring him up off the seamount, I'm going to see other Cabarrus following him. These are all 20, 30 pounders right now. It's now what I'm quite looking for. So, I now want to move to another side. Tavi and I race to our third spot of the seamount and get away from that school of dinks. Got to be monsters here. Oh, man. The hunt for monster fish. We are in the hunt right now, boys. These are the times that I tell myself, Trev, this is what you came here for. And yes, it's punishing. Wow, nice Cabrera. Ah, uh, Cabrera. Big Cabrera. I got another one on here. Oh, man. You know how I said a few minutes ago that this is what I came here for? This one punishes me even more, but hey, no pain, no Cabrera, no monster. <laughs> These Grande Cabrera just pull and pull. Not much running, just a lot of digging, down and down, using that big flat tail. When the mate is laughing and saying things in Spanish you don't understand, 
It's a good bet. This one's the monster. Big two bet up. Whoa! Wow! wow. Woohoo! Big Cubera! El Big Cubera! Oh, yeah, Glande! Look at that hook almost came out. Kiss, kiss, kiss! Monster mission, monster fish. It ain't exactly a tuna, and it sure isn't a dog. But Vanuatu's dog tooth tuna can put a definite hurt on your tackle, especially 